I'm going to show you 50 tips in Obsidian to go from beginner to expert. Here you got the timestamps, now let's get into it. Obsidian is a markdown based note taking app. You can store data and therefore create knowledge bases. The app is 100% free for personal use. You can download it directly from the website. To create a new file, click command or control plus N. Click command or control plus shift plus N to open a new note in a new plane. To close the added plane, click command or control plus W. Click control or command plus E or this button to change from the edit to the preview mode. Press Ctrl or Command plus click this button to open a new plane with the preview mode of the note. If you want to make a heading, type in one number sign in front of your text of choice. If you want to make a subheading, type in two number signs in front of your text of choice. If you want to make a sub subheading, type in three number signs in front of your text of choice. You can add another number symbol and go on with the headings. Type either one asterisk or an underscore in front of your text and the same at the end to make your text italic or click Ctrl or Command plus I. Type either two asterisks or two underscores in front of your text and the same at the end to make your text bold or click Ctrl or Command plus B. You can of course combine and make your text both italic and bold. Lists. Make bullet lists by typing minus. The preview mode turns the minus into a bullet. If you want to keep the minus, meaning you don't want it to be a bullet, then type a backslash in front of the minus. Internal linking. To link to files, type two open brackets. There will be a list shown with all your nodes. Simply select one. The same applies to images as well. Use the same syntax and select the image you want for your node. External linking. Markdown style links can be used to refer to external objects. Simply copy paste the link. You can change the URL to a text of your choice and make it a hyperlink. Simply type your text between two brackets and next to it the URL between two parentheses. iframe. Use this cool way called iframe to embed a web page in Obsidian. Markdown can accept HTML. Iframe with Twitter. Some web pages don't allow you to embed them, like YouTube or Twitter for example. In this case try to search website embed iframe in Google to find a way. For example, to use the embed feature in Twitter, mouse over the tweet, click more and select embed tweet. The site pops up a box containing the embed code, which can be copied and pasted to Obsidian to display the tweet. Block quotes. For a block quote type a greater than sign first and then the quote. The preview mode shows it like this. For tasks use brackets and if you finish the tasks simply type an X between the brackets. Create simple tables by writing a list of words and dividing them with minuses for the first row and then separating each column with a pipe. Utilize two equal signs to highlight text. Utilize two tiles to cross out your text. Footnotes. The creation of footnotes is interesting. Use brackets and a caret. After that, type in the number of your footnote. Then type the footnote directly underneath the paragraph. No need to jump to the end of your note. The footnote automatically jumps to the bottom in the preview mode. You can also use inline footnotes. Notice that the caret goes outside of the brackets on this one. You can also do inline math like this. Obsidian uses Mermaid to render diagrams and charts. Mermaid also provides a helpful live editor. Help option. Press the help button to get an overview of all possibilities. Press the settings button and then hotkeys. Here you can change your hotkeys. Some do not even have hotkeys. Customize the commands however you want. You can import data from other note taking apps like Notion for example. There is a forum on the Obsidian website. People share their import techniques there. Just follow their steps. Audio Recorder. Audio Recorder is a plugin that enables you to create a voice memo without having to leave Obsidian. Just activate it in the settings under Core Plugins and then click on the microphone symbol on the left panel to start recording. The Backlinks plugin shows where and how often the current note is mentioned as an internal link in other notes. After enabling it, you see the backlink count in the status bar. Or click Open Backlinks to see it in an additional bar on the bottom. 
If you don't want to remember all commands, simply type Control Command plus P, then type the name of the command and the hotkey will appear. Activate the plugin daily notes which will open a new note that is automatically named with the current date. The date format can be changed in the settings under plugin options. You can activate or deactivate your file explorer which gives you an overview of all your files. Graph view shows all your nodes and how they are connected based on the internal links. You can create your own plugin. For instructions on creating new plugins, see the sample plugin on GitHub. You can add your plugin to the community plugin platform. To access the community plugins, you need to turn off the save mode. This can be risky as each plugin is made by an individual and not by the Obsidian team. When you turn on the plugin in Page Preview, then it lets you preview a page by putting your mouse on the internal link without actually having to click it. Copy-paste Obsidian Note URLs by clicking this. You can paste the link then in other note-taking apps, like Apple Notes for example. You can have more vaults than just one. Each workspace with all your notes is one vault. You can open a new vault and create a new collection of notes. You can switch quickly between all your vaults. Use aliases in internal links by typing a vertical bar and the alias. The preview mode shows the alias only. Use quick switcher to jump to other nodes without having to leave your keyboard. The shortcut is Ctrl or Command plus O. Use up and down arrows to navigate the results. Enter to jump to a result and escape to exit the quick switcher. If you hold Command or Control while clicking Enter, then it will cause the node to open in a new pane. Use the random node feature to find nodes you didn't check for a long time or whatever reason. You can create an own custom hotkey for the random node plugin. Search is a powerful tool to find your chosen word in all existing nodes of your vault. Activate slides to do simple presentations with Obsidian. Just type three minuses to separate slides and click the presentation button to start it. The templates plugin lets you quickly insert snippets of text into your current note. To designate template files, put them into a folder and choose that folder in settings. Templates, template folder location after enabling the plugin. Also set your syntax for the date and use this in the template file to have the right date. After that just click the template button on the left bar in your chosen node and then it gets instantly imported. You can change your graph in the graph settings. There are many options. Something I like a lot is the possibility to mark all related nodes with the same color. For example with a keyword they both contain. Export your node to PDF with this button. Alright we're coming to an end. If you made it through the whole video then thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what videos you like to see next. Also like and subscribe if you want to support me and see you in the next one. Bye.